In this video, we will understand a very important concept of data preprocessing that is z-score normalization with a very simple numerical example. Before we go with z-score normalization numerical example, first we will try to understand what is normalization and what is z-score normalization. Normalization is a technique often applied as a part of a data preparation for data mining. The goal of normalization is to change the values of numeric columns in the data set to a common scale without distorting differences in the ranges of values. Z-score normalization is a strategy of normalizing data that avoids the outlier issue. In the previous video, I have discussed what is min-max normalization with a simple numerical example. The disadvantage of min-max normalization is it will not avoid the outliers. But we can use Z-score normalization to uh, remove outliers from the given data set. So that is the best uh, advantage of using Z-score normalization. So the link for min-max normalization video is given in the description below. If you want, uh, you can follow this video to understand min-max normalization. The z-score normalization is calculated using the formula uh, zif is equal to xif minus mif divided by sf. Uh, here xif is the current value, m is the mean and s is, s is the absolute standard deviation. So we will take one very simple example to understand z-score normalization. So we will take this data set that is the age uh, column. Uh, we will do two things. First, we will try to calculate the mean as well as mean absolute uh, deviation. And then we will try to calculate the z-score for each of these values. So to calculate the mean, uh, we can use this formula. That is mean is always equal to uh, summation of all the values divided by n that is x1f plus x2f plus xnf divided by n where n is the number of values so in this case it is equal to 18 plus 22 plus 25 plus 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 uh, 28 divided by 10 which is equal to 33 so 33 is the mean of that particular column in this case so in this case the column is age the mean of age is 33 now we'll try to calculate the mean absolute deviation so if you want to calculate the mean absolute deviation, you can use this equation, which is always equivalent to the absolute difference between the value and the mean divided by n. So the values are in this case again x1f minus mf. Similarly, xnf minus mf. So x1f is the first value, xnf is the last value, and mf is the mean in this case. So x1f is 18 mean is 33 so that is 18 minus 33 so this is an absolute difference so we need to consider only the positive value similarly 22 minus 33 25 minus 33 and so on 28 minus 33 so once you calculate this uh, mean uh, difference uh, next we need to calculate uh, 1 divided by n here so that is equal to 8.8 .8. so the mean absolute deviation of age is equal to 8.8 .8. So once you calculate the mean absolute deviation as well as mean, we can easily calculate what is the z-score for each and every values. So z-score is calculated using this formula as I told you earlier, zif is equal to xif minus mean divided by the mean absolute deviation. First uh, z1f that is the z-score normalization for the first value is equal to 18 is the first value minus 33 that is mean divided by 8.8 .8, that is mean absolute deviation which is equal to minus 1.70 similarly second one is second value is 22 so 22 minus 33 divided by 8.8 .8, which is equal to minus 1.25 the third z score normalization is 25 minus 33 divided by 8.8 .8. here 25 is the third value 33 is the mean 8.8 .8 is the mean absolute deviation which is equal to minus 0.91 similarly you can calculate the z score for each and every values here so in this video i have explained what is normalization what is z score normalization 
z score normalization is specifically used in removing the outliers uh, i hope this video will help you uh, for your data mining project if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching